Najua nilikuwa station inaitwa Navaholo. 1995. Mtu akakuja akaniambia, "Hii chivu yako." Ananisumbua. Na tutaonana. Hivi karibuni. Amelalia kwangu, anatumia crown, amenitoa kwa boma yangu. Tutaonana. Mimi nikaita hao machifu. Nikasema vile mimi nasikia siku abiwa ni nani. Lakini hiyo mzee vile ameongea kuna mtu atakuja kukata makende hapa. <laughs> I am not a prophet. Yeah? Within 10 days. Yeah? Chief alikatwa makende ikawekwa kwa shoe string ikakuwa hanged kwa shopping center to send the message to chiefs nimeuliza juzi after so many years nikafika simu kwa mtu rafiki yangu akaniambia huko hakuna chief na karibia bibi ya mwenyewe <laughs> so i don't want to encourage wananchi wafanyie nyinyi hivyo but there's a possibility nyinyi wewe <laughs> please of us let's conduct ourselves with dignity and decorum so that we can serve our people and serve them well and be effective i wish you well i know you have what it takes to do the right thing again i want to remind you you are also parents other than being of us please do the right thing uphold the law eradicate crime apprehend offenders and make sure you have sufficient evidence to secure a successful conviction i am looking forward to a very healthy discussion asante thank you excellency another round of applause to the deputy president I think we can all be seated. Thank you. <coughs> I'm looking at my watch. We are scheduled to be done in another half an hour so that then we allow the officers implement the instructions by His Excellency the Deputy President. And uh, I would want to give some guidance in terms of uh, our contribution is that uh, number one, we would want to be very brief in terms of our reactions and if uh, an MP or an or someone has talked about something you wanted to bring up then you don't have to repeat it. So allow me to invite the CS for health to make a few remarks and then after the CS for health I'll uh, have the CS for agriculture and livestock and then the governor's present that I'll guide as we as we move forward karibu waziri yeah. ah welcome waziri kuria thank you thank you your excellency deputy president honorable rigathi gashagwa my colleague cabinet uh, secretary is present excellency governors present senators members of the national assembly senior government officials present and all the people of taraka niti good afternoon thank you very much your excellency deputy president for always ensuring that the ministry of health is part of this conversation and we are happy and uh, i passionately endeavor to attend all of them because these are lines with our thinking at the ministry of, of focusing, focusing on, on preventive and promotive health and not just curative so these conversations that we are having here is one way of preventing the effects and the impact of drug and alcohol abuse on health your excellency Besides the direct impact of liver disease, lung disease and cancer associated with the drug and alcohol abuse, we have other impacts that end up being health issues. 
Your Excellency, people who are involved in drug and alcohol abuse, in most cases, they end up with mental illnesses. And as a ministry, that has become of one of our key concerns. Next to that, Your Excellency, these people end up with impaired judgment. And due to impaired judgment, they get involved in many activities that impact health negatively at the end of the day. Many of these people, Your Excellency, are the ones that you will find are involved in gender-based violence. These people end up either in hospital or somewhere else affecting healthcare. Your Excellency, the drug and alcohol abuse are the same people who will end up impregnating teenage girls. This impacts healthcare. Due to impaired judgment, Your Excellency, these are the people who will get involved in accidents, they injure themselves, end up in hospital. And if they are driving, they'll end up causing accidents on our roads, and these people will end up in hospital. Worse of it all, Your Excellency, due to the impaired judgment, these people end up in engaging in unprotected sex. Your Excellency, this ends up in STIs that will end up in hospital. Worse of it all, Your Excellency, this end up with HIV AIDS. The impact of HIV AIDS on our healthcare, Your Excellency, is quite high. In 2021-2022, as a country, we spend close to 44 billion shillings on HIV AIDS commodities. That is money that would have been used for other meaningful things besides being used in healthcare. Therefore, as a ministry, we shall passionately continue to participate in these conversations. And I want to encourage that we have done something, we have a solution. One is that we have developed a mental health policy which has specific interventions to deal with mental health issues and other drug and alcohol abuse issues. Your Excellency, also the National Hospital Insurance Fund caters for mental illnesses and rehabilitation. Therefore, the centers that you have encouraged the governors to be able to put up, they should know that they will also get support and revenue from National Hospital Insurance Fund as it caters for those who have been affected by drug and alcohol abuse. And lastly, Your Excellency, under your guidance, together with the Excellency, the President, Dr. William Samoe Ruto, as a ministry, and you are working very closely with the county governors, that in the next few days, we are going to roll out over 100,000 community health promoters. These people, we have kitted them. And besides kitting them, we have given them gadgets. One community health promoter will be in charge of 100 households. They have gadgets to collect information about the household. And uh, during uh, the initial engagements, we have added a component on that gadget where they'll be able to collect issues to do with the drug and alcohol abuse. Those statistics will help us as a ministry on how we deal with these matters moving forward, but most importantly, that they'll be able to pick up such cases in the households and be able to direct them to health facilities where such people can get uh, assistance and help. So as a ministry, Your Excellency, we shall continue to participate actively in these uh, discussions. But apparatus who are here that